Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be our September empties. I have my bin behind me and it is pretty full. So I'm excited to share with you guys what I finished off in the month of September. And of course we have our helper Kai here with us. He's laying on my pumpkin blanket from Target because he loves laying on blankies, but he's looking so adorable in his new little flannel bandana that we got from Etsy. I'll link it down below. But yeah, he's just chilling, hanging out with us today. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start with the candles because that is like the thing I'm most excited about. And I did finish off quite a few candles this month. So the first one that I finished is actually DW Homes Dinner Roll in the single wick. I got this from TJ Maxx last year for $7.99, like right before Thanksgiving. And it's super cute. It had the little dinner rolls on the packaging, um, but it smelled like nothing. So I burned it over the past month. It smells great, like on cold. It kind of smells like buttered bread. It smells really good. I wish it smelled that strong whenever you burned it, but I burned it in my bedroom, like literally right there on my table and just had it going for a few hours, like every day throughout the month. And you really could not smell it at all, but it was nice to have the ambiance. I definitely won't ever purchase another DDB Homes single wick ever again, because I can't smell them at all. But I do like their, I believe it's either a three wick or a four wick uh, formula, because I did have it one year in Christmas morning, which was like a beautiful, Cafe Olay coffee scent. It was so nice. So I definitely would purchase that again, but not the single wicks. I have not good, I do not have good luck with them. Did you just fart? I think you just farted. <laughs> I do not have good luck with the single wicks and they soot a ton. So next I have my beloved and my last version of Pumpkin Donut Shop. I did keep this one from last year as a backup because I love this scent and they did not bring it out again this year. I'm so sad. But I did have it in my Project Wax, so here is my progress on that one. The notes are glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices, sprinkled with powdered sugar. It's a beautiful powdered sugar donut scent. Not super strong, I'd say like a 6 out of 10. So definitely not going to blow you at the house, but I loved burning this in the mornings with like a coffee candle and have like coffee and donuts going at the same time. It was really beautiful, and I'm sad to see this go. I hope they bring out another donut candle soon because I really enjoyed this one. I know they have the cider donut, but I'm not talking about that. Like I just want a regular donut scent. The next one that I finished off is pumpkin peanut brittle. I did also have this one in my project wax. You can see I burned it the whole month. I was really excited to get this one back again this year, but I have to say it's not as strong as I remember. Um, I would say it's maybe a six or a seven on strength, but the, the throw and the scent of it is amazing. It smells so good. It's beautiful. It smells like Ritz crackers with peanut butter. The notes are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, toasted pumpkin seeds. And I do have two more backups of this one. So I'll probably burn the next one in my bedroom just because I feel like it's better for a bedroom scent versus what I did, which was in my open concept kitchen, which is pretty big and takes like really high throwers. So yeah, it was not super high, but still a really great peanut butter scent and I loved it. So. I already have backups, like I said. And the last candle I have actually finished up on my candle crock, and that is Give Warmth Marble Chocolate Cupcake. This one was a super, super light, barely even noticeable scent when I burned it in my bedroom. So I put it on my candle crock and it worked really well. The notes are sweet cocoa milk chocolate topped with vanilla glaze. Yeah, it just smelled like, um, like cake. Smelled really great. It has no more scent anymore, but Highly recommend getting a candle crock if you have a few of these that you can't return. Uh, a few candles that are super low throwers. But yeah, I did enjoy it on the crock. I won't get it again, obviously, because it didn't throw, but I'm glad I finished it off. So that is my four candles for the month. Let's get into some wax melt empties. So the first one I have is Sensational's Autumn Valley, which is golden amber and balsam. I did this one in the bedroom. It was a nice like bedroom scent. I actually still have it going. Um, just like a nice masculine woody scent. Really good. I would probably get it again just because those are super cheap. And then I also finished off a, I don't know where this is from. It's homemade fusion salted caramel brittle. I have this one going downstairs. I believe it's from like Kroger or some local grocery store in Texas. I actually got this as a gift for Christmas. It smells delicious. It kind of reminds me of pumpkin peanut brittle, but not as much pumpkin and more just like caramel brittle so this one was really really good 
And then I also finished off Mocha Doodle from Scentsy. I didn't enjoy this one that much because I really couldn't smell it. It was a very, very low thrower and it kind of smells like Play-Doh in the packaging right now. But yeah, I won't go for this one again. I thought it was going to be a nice um, coffee scent, but I couldn't really smell it at all. So sticking with home fragrance, I have a few wallflower empties. I finished off, I don't know what this one is actually. I don't really know what scent this was. I think it was Sunshine Mimosa and I replaced it with Pumpkin Snickerdoodle and that's going in our hallway. I really love this Pumpkin Snickerdoodle scent. It is so good. I'm going to have to get some backups because... It really just smells like snickerdoodles. It smells like really yummy cookies. I don't get any pumpkin, but it smells delicious. So I'll have to get some backups to use just like throughout the year, I think. Not even like in the fall. And then I finished off an apple pie as well. And I have blackberries and basil going now in the bathroom. I do like to put like a fruity scent in the bathroom. So that's that one. And then I just finished off a random Glade Airwick in the fresh linen scent. I don't really have a lot of body care this month, which I'm kind of sad about, but I just started using some newer stuff for the fall. So I kind of expected not to use up that stuff this month. So I do have one from Ryan though. I have Whitewater Rush in the men's body care line. He loved this scent. It was really good. I think I got this at SAS and it was a really nice fresh scent. So definitely liked this one a lot. And then I also finished off Rainbow Cereal in the hand soap. Actually, Ryan did <laughs> at his sink and he really liked it. I just put this in there because I wanted to finish off our summer scents, but it really does smell like Fruity Pebbles. So that was a good one. Okay, we have some skincare, some hair care, and some makeup, and then we're done. So the first thing I have is the Supergoop Mineral Matte Screen. This was really nice. It is SPF 40. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, it definitely did leave my skin more matte than it did shiny. I, don't, I wouldn't say it mattified my skin, but it definitely did not add extra oil. So I did like it. It is, I believe, like 40 bucks though, so I don't think I'll repurchase it, at least not right now, but I did enjoy it. I finished off two of the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotions. I have the big bottle and then this mini that I traveled with. I really liked this. Um, I didn't notice a difference in my skin, but it definitely didn't make my skin any worse or any better. It had, yeah, it had no effect on my skin, but I did enjoy it. And then I also finished off the Mary Kay Clear Proof Cleansing Gel. Um, I already repurchased this one. I use this one at night. It's great for like a clarifying cleanser. And yeah, I also finished off the Mary Kay Vitamin C Serum. Love this stuff. I use it every morning. It is so good. I've already repurchased it. Highly, highly, highly recommend vitamin C if you haven't already started using it. It is really good for your skin. I finished off just a random four pack of these Flamingo razor refills. I like these because it's a lot less waste. You just replace the um, the blade head on your razor and it's a lot cheaper as well. And I really enjoy that Flamingo razor. So for hair care, I finished off the Living Proof Scalp Care Dry Scalp Treatment. This is my holy grail for eczema on my scalp. I love it so much. If you guys have dry scalps or dandruff on your scalp, highly recommend buying this. It is totally worth the price tag. I think it's like 40 bucks or more but I highly recommend it. I go through one about every three or four months. And then I also finished off the Dippity Do Girls With Curls Curl Defining Cream. I wore my hair curly a few times this past month and I just finished this one off. I had it from, or I got it from Marshalls for $5.99 in the past. So I definitely would get this again if I found it. And then I have a few makeup things. I finished off the Jack Black Lip Balm and Shea Butter. Love, love, love this stuff. I've already repurchased it in the Mint formula. That's my favorite formula of it, but totally recommend this, especially with the colder months coming up. Totally recommend getting your hands on this Jack Black lip balm. I also finished off this Etude House Drawing Eyes Brush Eyeliner in dark brown. I love this stuff. It is a great, sorry, I had to wait for the sirens to pass by my house. Um, but this is a really great eyeliner. It is like super sharp. I loved it. I found it at um, TJ Maxx and I've not been able to find it ever since. I probably will have to buy on like Yes Style or something if I want it, but I'm trying out the Milani Brown Eyeliner right now. And I also really, really like that one. So if I ever find that a two house one, I would definitely buy it again. And then I also finished off the ColourPop Brow Gel in light brown. I love this stuff. I think they've reformulated or repackaged it at least. I did really like it. It definitely didn't hold my brow hairs down, but I have very curly brow hair, so that's probably why. And then the last thing I finished off is this Bite Beauty Lipstick in Glace. 
This was like a little bitty one and I finished it up all the way. This was, I think a birthday reward a few years ago. Happy to have finished off lip stuff though. I never finished that off. Okay, that is everything for my September empties. I think October will be a lot more body care heavy and more candles again, but I did finish off four candles. So I'm still really proud of finishing off those and I finished off some wax. So I think I'm smooth sailing for now on candles. I just got to really focus on finishing up some body care from my project Use It Up. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.